WinCC version 8 step-by-step, -step, creating custom alarm buttons. In this section, we're going to create some custom buttons for our alarm banner on our main PDO to allow us to acknowledge directly from here without having to go to our alarm screen. We'll also add an info button that gives us more information about each alarm. So let's get started. So we're going to start on our main PDL where our alarm banner is, and you can see that I have refactored these controls so that I've got room for my acknowledgement and info button. I'll just drag out a button. This will be my acknowledgement button, and I will duplicate that. And I'll use my configuration dialog to update the text on it. And then if we want to change the colors, of course, we have to turn off our global color scheme and then maybe just give them some colors. And then I'll also change our font size. Maybe bold them so we can see it better. So now we have our buttons. We're going to go to our alarm control and change the name so that we can pick it out of a list because we have more than one control on this page. So I am just going to call this alarm banner. Next, let's just take a look at the properties. If we want to acknowledge an alarm that's on this banner, we have to select an alarm, and then we're going to hit Acknowledge, and we have to duplicate the single acknowledgement functionality on the toolbar. The first thing that we have to do is make sure that auto-scrolling is unchecked. That allows you to make selections of individual alarms on the control. The second piece of information is on the toolbar tab. We go find the button that we want to duplicate the functionality of and just note the object ID. We can use this to duplicate that functionality using a direct connect. So single acknowledgement is 10 and info text dialog is 23. So we can just hit OK here. We'll do the Act button first. We'll go to Events and choose Direct Connect on our press left. We'll put the object ID in the constant and then, since we've named this well, it's easy to pick out our alarm banner. And there is a property called Toolbar Button Click. So if we send a number into that property, it's just like pressing the corresponding button on the toolbar. So if we send it a 10, it's going to acknowledge whatever alarm is selected on the control. We'll do the same thing on our Info button. There's our toolbar button click and just click OK. Then we'll save. Next, we're going to go to alarm logging and we're going to fill out some info text so that we'll have something to see. So I am just going to do this right in the work area. I've got my message tag pinned and then we can just move this to get our info text next to the tag and we'll just add some text here and we can Copy this, and then copy it for the remaining ones. Now we'll go back to Graphics Designer on Main PDL, and we're going to test this in runtime. So in runtime, we'll just cause a failure. We'll just use our valve test we'll see that we have the red valve there. We'll also do a pump. And then I can select these alarms on the banner because we have turned off our auto scroll. And then I can just hit acknowledge. And you can see that it will acknowledge these. If I hit info, then the info dialog comes up and shows us the info text. There's our info for the red valve. 